Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today's video is called Overcoming Trauma and Dealing with Past Programming from Your Childhood as an INFP. So, thinking about it, I think a lot of INFPs uh, go through their teenage and later years feeling like a lot of time they have been forced to be an INFP because of their experiences. Your experiences have made you more shy when you would like to be more outgoing. Your experiences have made you disappear into your own imaginary world instead of participating in reality. Your experiences have made you a bit more sensitive to people's emotions and to conflict rather than being strong in yourself and confident in discussions. Your experiences have made you go against and become a rebel in society, struggling with routine and schedules and organization when you would like to be more proactive. Now, I would argue against this kind of idea. It is not that you have become or been forced to become the way you are today because of your experiences. It is not because of your parents or your situation or your upbringing that you are the way you are. I want to put back that ownership, that strength in yourself. So the way, thing I want to show you is the traumas, the experiences you had, the difficulties that you had experienced, uh, struggles with your parents, conflicts that you had growing up, uh, pressure from parents or teachers, pressure and bullying or whatever happened to you, uh, no matter... The trauma itself, you had no control over. You had no control over what happened to you. But the decisions you made and how you chose to respond to it, that was your decision. That was how you chose to respond to it. It was nobody else that made that decision. That's why we have some people who, in the face of bullying or in the face of negativity or conflict become very aggressive or very outspoken and very firm-headed or stubborn. And why in some people, that means we have to think about what we choose to do with what we are forced to experience. Because in some ways we are forced to experience life. We have no control over what is put on us. It is simply put on us against our will. Our friends, our family members, all the impressions, the sensations, the things that come to our lives. You know, those things we cannot control. The only thing we can control is ourselves. That's why I think as an INFP, the first thing you want to do, your first plan of attack or maybe a plan of defense, depending on how you want to see it, against these traumas and against these struggles, not just old ones, but also future ones, is to have a strong sense of self. First, know who you are and first own your own experiences and your own feelings. Own and be clear in these are my feelings. These are my experiences. This is my identity. This is who I am. First, introspect and take time to listen to and hear yourself. Hear your feelings, sit down with yourself, breathe, and when you take a breath, think about who you are. And every time you breathe out, ask yourself a question. Basically, go through that loop of just answer a question, ask yourself a question. Ask yourself a question, answer a question about yourself, about your feelings. How are you doing? What are you struggling with? What are you feeling? What else are you feeling? What other things have you thought about lately? Make sure you visit yourself in your own head and that you keep yourself uh, in check with yourself because you are your own starting point. And if you want energy or if you feel exhausted, the best point of attack is to get energy. And energy is what you... Stability, security, certainty is your best weapon against confusion and doubt. So if you feel confusion or doubt, first... Take a breath and go inside and just first find your inner voice. And the thing is, you don't have to escape from society to do this. You don't have to run away to your own room. You don't have to uh, ghost people. You don't have to block people on your Facebook. You don't have to dis delete your Facebook. You can just put it aside and just go in and then step in for yourself as long as you need and then come back when you need or want to, when you're ready to. When uh, thinking about your past traumas, and let's take a concrete example. Imagine that you have felt bullied or belittled for you, who you are. Imagine that uh, when you were young or you maybe you started singing or maybe you uh, said something and then people started laughing at you or thought you were silly or stupid for doing it. I want to think about you know, that from that perspective because you can't help 
the fact that you are experiencing this or that people are doing this to you. Uh, so that's not your fault. That's first of all. The first thought you should realize is that's not your fault. You are not responsible for how other people choose to judge you. It's not your fault how other people choose to perceive you or to experience what you are saying. The final question is, what do you want to do with that? What do you want to do when people judge you? What kind of a person would you like to be? Would you like to be a person who turns the other cheek? Would you like to be a person that goes out and confronts the person and speaks out and says, hey, stop doing that. Let me be the way I am. Or would you like to develop the ability to just be sen and to just move past it and laugh at it and move forward as if it didn't bother you at all because it didn't bother you at all? Because you understood how they felt and why they said what they did and what their judgment was just a judgment of their selves. I think as an INFP, often the understanding route is more beneficial. So practice a lot of time understanding, forgiving, and being able to move forward without kind of getting caught up in the drama or toxicity of other people. So when other people are being toxic or judgmental or difficult or when they are being tough, being able to kind of see past them and kind of see, oh yeah, they're at that level, they're trying to deal with that, they're trying to process that and uh, they still haven't really overcome this issue and I'm not going to let myself get dragged down by it because I know it doesn't relate to me and I know that they, what they say has no validity or applicability on who I am or what I do or what I want. And I know that they will overcome it in time and I will give them patience and I will give them space to do that on their own because it doesn't bother me, it doesn't belong to me, it has nothing to do with me. At least that's my advice for you and I hope this video helps. And I hope it gives perspective on the difficulties you had. And if you had any difficult experiences as an INFP, or let me know about it in the comments down below. And also let me know what you did about it and how you kind of came to process it and deal with it as an INFP. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.